What's up guys, Squally and Heart 1000 here, and today I'm basically going to be doing a part 2 video for my uh, Cast Awesome Light Effects tutorial. This one's basically just going to answer questions that people posted in the comments section. I didn't expect that video to get as many views and questions as it did, so that really shocked me by surprise, obviously. But um, first question I got was, can you change the color of the lights? And... All I can say is, unfortunately, you cannot do that. The only way you can change the color of the lights is if you make an entirely new light on uh, on Microsoft Paint, on Photoshop, whatever you want to do. You just got to create a different light file. What the game does is when it's dark outside, the light created will be the opposite. Like, for example, black is white, gray is like dark gray is like lighter gray or that kind of thing and um, yeah that's uh, that's the uh, first question the second question I got is I'm like the person said I noticed that when the land turns on and when the lights on that it doesn't that it goes right through the walls can this be fixed and the answer is yes and I'm gonna show you quickly how to do that so, I'm going to open up Cast Awesome Light Effects down here. And what I'm going to show you is pretty much, I'll, I'll just use this one. The way you do it is the terrain tag. You go to the terrain tag, and as you can see, on these ones right here, 5, 6, 7, 5 means the light is blocked. 6 is a wall light, so it's kind of like a wall. You can't, if you shine it, at it sideways then it won't go through but if you shine right at it forwards then it'll go through and seven is roof so if you edit if you go to uh, your tile sets in your database you go to terrain tag and you edit it to make it look something like this I will do that right now as a demonstration in my tutorial so I'll go to terrain tag I'm just gonna do what color, what did I do down here I used I used something different. I'll I'll just create like a pretty fast house using these two right here. So you just change the terrain tags right there and I'll make a basic whatever. So I'll add a little more roof to that. And we'll add this light right here. So I'll just uh, give you guys a demonstration as to what it looks like. Obviously my computer is being difficult with me right now and is being very, very slow. But terrain tags is basically how you do it if you don't want the light to pass through. There we go. So here we are in our town, and as you can see, the light is not passing through, so I'll just grab the lantern, and you can you can pretty much see the effects that's going on right now, that it's not passing through the walls or anything of this, and same with the flashlight, it won't pass through, and it'll just pass through the walls right here. So that's, the pr that's pretty much the tutorial on terrain tags. It's Overall, it's very, very basic. And the, um, come on, Logan. The last question I got was, how do you get the daytime back? And I get that all the time. With the, I'm not sure if you guys know anything about uh, colors or your grayscale kind of swap kind of thing. But they should, I believe they posted how to do it right here. Realistic light, blah, blah, blah. But um, at the very end of the script, you see 200. And um, 200, if you know the black palette, 0 is white. And 255 is as black as you can possibly go. So the one that's set on right now is the... Um, uh, is 200, so it's more on the black side. So obviously it's more... Um, dark like nighttime, 
put your effects here, blah, 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 yeah, yeah. End of effects, I'm just gonna try and find it so you guys can look for it, I don't think, I don't think I can find it, whatever. Surface. Do, 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 do. You guys could probably just skip over this part if you guys are don't really care about seeing it or whatever. Ah, screw it. I'm not even gonna try and find it. But um, at the very end, you got 200 to get the get daytime back. You can pretty much just change the color to, I'll just put in one. And it's being slow again, of course. My recording software is just eating up the CPU right now, so that's kind of expected. As you can see, now with the uh, when I put one in, it's light out. So you can change it easily from night to day just by doing that. I grab the light and nothing's happening. So that's your daytime. All you, the the one you you'll be playing around like um you can just copy and paste the ones from Cast Awesome Light Effects right into your game. But the one that you don't want to the ones that you don't want to touch is the 120 comma 0 comma 0 but after that when you get comma 200 that's the one you're going to play around with so right here you can just copy that from cast awesome light effects to get your daytime uh, effects remember 0 is the as white as you can go 255 which do not do because you'll get a black screen on your game 255 is as black as you can go I'd probably go up to 200 or two maybe even 215 as the uh, darkest black overall that's pretty much all that all there is to it with cast awesome light effects um, if you guys have any more questions as to how the uh, like uh, any more questions about the script on how to do it or whatever, just post in the comment section below and I'll answer it best as I can. This is just a part two video, so this is this is going to be the last part of the Cast Awesome Light Effects tutorial since there's really nothing else you can do with the script unless you make your own uh, light kind of textures so that, so that you can change like your light colors. A lot of you liked the blue lights, which I can't get because I don't have that, but it's completely up to you guys. So, so, to, so to sum it all up, terrain tags, and just remember your black and white palette swap. Zero is as white as you can go. Two fifty five is as black as you can go. So, if you enjoyed, if you want for more on uh, RPG Maker VX Ace, whether it be games, whether it be gaming reviews on RPG Maker games, whether it be tutorials. Um, some of my games I'm doing, I'm currently working on a horror game called The Butcher right now. So definitely check that out. It uses Cast Awesome Light Effects. And um, I'll be uploading more footage to it soon as I completely start a production all over again. So uh, yeah, for more on RPG Maker, VX Ace, VX, XP, whatever, just subscribe to my channel. Like and comment and favorite if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.